Hello everyone, this is Ultralavos with another LP Mini. What do we have this time, you may ask yourself? Well, we have a classic. Donkey Kong. Oh yeah, Donkey Kong. It's already kicking into the uh, demo here. This is uh, originally an arcade game. It was where Mario got a start. I don't even think it was called Mario. I think it was still Jumpman or something. And there's Pauline, the mayor of New Donk City up there. Classic uh, game. Not quite long enough to do a full LP, but that's what these LP minis are for. I'm going to take you through the three stages that are in this game, which are on a constant loop. And, uh, yeah, enjoy. This is uh, also going to be the game the uh, Two Dudes and a Ness podcast will be covering on their next episode. Not sure when that's going to be releasing, but if y'all have never checked out that podcast, it's pretty sweet. Uh, two Dudes, uh, Mike and Justin, do a game-by-game -game podcast about old NES games and go on a lot of random tangents about random things. Sometimes they go on tangents within those tangents, but it's, it's always fun. Good time. Good guys, check it out. Let's get this started. We're gonna start, uh, I didn't hit select to show the title screen again, but we're gonna choose game A. Now that's the easier of the two versions. Choosing game B just makes things a little more difficult. Maybe I did choose game B. I may have. He just kinda flung that barrel straight down at me. You can grab that hammer if you'd like. It can smash some things. I may do that later. But yeah, we got to the top and saved Pauline. Now, for some reason, uh, she dropped her belongings. She has her uh, umbrella for her giant tropical drink. No, it's just a parasol. And over there, you'll see her royal luggage. It's an industrial strength hair dryer. Or it's just her purse, one or the other, I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure uh, we're going to collect these four because if we do find her belongings, she may give us a moon. And we need those moons to get our... Wait, wrong game. And there we go. Watch out for that Jack Donkey Kong's throwing. And this is the third and final stage. Don't know why I did it this way. It's kind of weird. We got to uh, run across these little girders and run over the rivets. Go grab her purse again. Uh, I don't want to grab the hammer. I'll do it on the next barrel level. And once we knock all the rivets out... We get to watch Donkey Kong fall. How fun. And that's all there is to this game. Except it gets, you know, each loop you go through gets increasingly more difficult. Uh, you know, standard arcade. So we'll just uh, go through here a little bit more, grab a hammer show you uh, how you can bash up some barrels. And I think after, uh, I'm not sure if it's after this or before in the timeline, but at some point, I'm pretty sure Donkey Kong goes to London and starts chucking barrels down the street trying to stop Dr. Jekyll uh, from making it to a wedding. But that's, that's a story for another game that we'll get to eventually. I'm looking forward to that. And I, I don't know if it's really Donkey Kong, but there are barrels in the last stage. I'm just going to play for a little bit. I've only been recording for like five minutes. Put a little bit of content in here for you guys. See how poorly I am at this poorly I am how poorly I'm playing this game actually I'm not doing too bad I'm doing better than I had anticipated because it's been so long 
since I've really sat down and played this. Like, I popped it in the other day. Just because. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. That sounds fun. Yeah, we took the shortcut. We're not even gonna get her purse. You don't need that. Oh! I got hit by the jack that was bouncing in a weird sporadic pattern I was not anticipating. So yeah, Donkey Kong spawned some more sequels, which I will be getting to eventually. There's, uh, on the NES, Donkey Kong Jr., Donkey Kong Jr. Math, Donkey Kong 3, I think that's it, uh, they released Donkey Kong Classics, which included this and Donkey Kong Jr., I believe? Then when the Super Nintendo came around, of course, you had the Donkey Kong Country games, which are amazing. Okay, so, ah, uh, just gotta be quick there at the end. But yeah, the Donkey Kong Country games are great. The soundtracks are so great. Can't wait till I get to those. Then in the Nintendo 64 era, Donkey Kong 64, I think Diddy Kong Racing. Now watch this. Nope. If you uh fall too far, you will die. It's not quite as bad as uh, the dude from Spelunker, but I figured I would just show you that. Let's go down to game B. Why not? And uh, I haven't really played much of the Donkey Kong games that were on the Wii. We do have the, uh, I forget the name of it, it's not the Tropical Freeze, it's... Is it Donkey Kong Country Returns, maybe? I've played a little bit of that, it was fun. And then I'm, I've never played the Game Boy games, the Donkey Kong Lands. Whoa, that's like some zigzag pattern. All right, I got you, Pauline. I have uh, used Donkey Kong as a racer on Mario Kart 64, though. He actually, for a while, was one of my favorites. Was he on that one? I think he was. If not, it's a different Mario Kart I was thinking of. And it was Bowser I played. No, I think Donkey Kong was. It's been so long. Yeah, let me know what you think of this game, if you all have played it, if you enjoy it. What is your favorite Donkey Kong game? And uh, this isn't the only game that Mario, this Mario fellas in on the Nintendo besides the typical Mario games. We've seen them uh, on my last LP Mini. Mini LP uh, in golf. He was the golfer. And there's another game I'll be doing soon that he also has a role in. That should be fun. Well, I guess that's all for now. This has been Ultra Lavos playing Donkey Kong. I hope you enjoyed, and I think uh, you might enjoy my next LP series coming out, which I'm going to try to get out there as soon as possible. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, though. See you all next game.